Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. December 26th, the feast day of St. Stephen, Mark, Deacon and Martyr, Carl Monk, M-U-N-K, 1898-1944. The Christ child is the world's savior and prince of peace because he is the world's greatest war lord. Apparently, there is the most glaring contrast between the Christmas gospel and that for St. Stephen's Day between the Christ child and the first Christian martyr. But in reality, there is the closest connection. The pagan Christmas with eating and drinking and parties and family joy may well be contained in the Christian celebration, but it can never take the place of it. Jesus himself took an interest in family life. He attended party, but he was nevertheless ever on the way to the cross. Let us sing Engelman songs and eat goose and play with our children about the glittering Christmas tree, but we must never forget that the coming of Christ to earth means dauntless struggle against evil. And if we kneel by the manger in other than sentimental moods, we shall become aware that one hand of the little child is open and kindly, the other clenched in blood. We wish one another Merry Christmas. And we mean may your Christmas goose be delicious or your meatballs, if that is the best you can afford this year. May you have fuel to keep your house warm May you have friends and loved ones about you. May your tree glitter in its wonted beauty and the hymns sound with their old power. And may there through it all be the one song in your heart. My Jesus, I want to be where thou art alone wilt have me. Yes, but there are so many doubts and questions that spoil my Christmas joy. Well, who promised you joy? It may be better that you have a poor Christmas. Don't be like a spoiled child and think of God as a great Santa Claus who has in his bag some sort of electromagnet with which to give your brain cells such a shot that everything becomes gloriously clear to you and that you can be happy in harmony with yourself and the world. My friend, perhaps your doctor can do that for you with a stimulant that will send the blood to your brain and clarify your mind so you see things in bright perspective. This has nothing to do with real joy. True Christmas joy. No matter how much or how little of it you may comprehend means that you have Christ and that you go to where he wants you to go. The prayer, J.K. William Lohe, 1808-1872. Unto us a child is born, alleluia. Unto us a son is given, alleluia. Help us, Lord God, that we, being released from our old sinful birth, may be made partakers of the new birth in the flesh of your beloved Son and ever continue in the same. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.